Welcome back, everyone, to the Zero K Grand Family 1v1 tournament. We are on to the bronze match. It's almost done. This is going to be Anarchy versus Steel Blue. Fighting it out, starting a Titan duel in a best of three. Whoever wins this gets third place. Yep. Whoever loses this gets fourth place. I'm with Google Frog. I'm Dominic. And we are about to start. Rovers and nothing yet. Rovers versus nothing. Tricky mashup. Not sure Anakin's gonna be able to do it, but I think they'll be able to pull it off. Yeah, the rush distance is a bit too long for just a commander. Okay, it's the other one for Hovercraft. Yeah, I wouldn't honestly expect just commander on this. That'd be kind of silly. Anyway. Opening with Quill. Steel Blue really taking advantage of the rush distance. On the other hand, Anarchid going for Dark Scorcher before... Actually, quite a bit for Mason, come to think of it. That is a really aggressive opening build. Like, yeah, Anarchid, the wow. mechs are weird. Oh, that's true. The mechs aren't quite symmetric, are they? No, they aren't. Yeah, so I can kind of There's see a bit of walk distance that he might be counteracting with his commander. But it's good to get a dart out, see what's going on. Well, yeah, I mean, one dart, sure. Just thinking dart, scorcher, dart, like two darts, two scorches before getting a mason is fairly aggressive. Although it looks like Anarchist primarily using that for scouting. Yeah, well, no, never mind. They're regrouping. They are going to be going for a bit of harassment, a bit of aggression. <laughs> and possibly getting rid of some of this stuff here, but... I don't know, these daggers are a bit of a threat. They don't one-shot dart darts, though, so maybe it's fine. No, they do two shot darts though. Well, anyway, got rid of a dart or got rid of. A... That was good though. Nice to get a constructor out of it. Yeah, that's that's the important thing. Got rid of a quill. Got rid of another dart. Got rid of a mechs too. This hero scorcher. Absolute hero scorcher finally goes down, but man, that did damage. And another scorcher follow up because why not? Anarchids got a really strong start here. That they could rush right in. Could. Kill everything. This Scorcher could be the game-winning Scorcher. There's another dagger coming in here, but the two daggers already in are very weak. The last one coming in won't be able to do too much. I mean, it'll it'll help, but it's not going to be enough. Not when the Scorcher can just get rid of the metal extractor, get rid of... Maybe get rid of the factory. It's... Probably not the factory. The factory's going to be a bit of a tall order. And actually, given the Scorcher doesn't have much health left, no. It has to be... It's forced yeah, to retreat, but still. Yeah, the Scorcher's away from death. It is. But... Just looking at that, looking at the damage that Anarchid dealt right away while still expanding, I think Anarchid has gotten a very strong start. Yes. Their aggression paid off for sure. It's Looks like they're going for round two. Four so. to maybe five to three. Metal extractors? Yeah. yeah. Although they are blue? base metal extractors, so Steel Blue will be able to rebuild reasonably easily. Yeah, the quill is back up, able to reclaim a little bit of that. But at the same time, there's the full force coming in again. Four daggers should be able to help get rid of it, though the two darts won't be able to even get anything off. The scorcher, the first scorcher is going to die almost immediately, too. So kind of the only yeah, hope he's is got to... the burst now. They do. They really do. And that scorcher going down. Next scorcher is going to be one shot as soon as anything gets close to it. Got over radar, but at this point, it's just not enough. Another free metal extractor, but again, in the center of the base. So, not bad, but overall, that's still left 500 metal to reclaim in Steel Blue's base. So, Anarchid doing a good job of the pressure and doing a great job expanding behind it. But if it weren't for the expansion behind, Anarchid would not be in the best of positions. But hey, that's why you expand behind attacks. So, Anarchid is in a really good position. Well... Anarchy going in again. I mean, three darts, Scorcher. I still think the daggers are getting an advantage. I feel like the attrition is starting to go in favor of Steel Blue to some extent. I mean, Anarchy is winning on the economy, but I don't want them to be pushing in cons consistently like this. He's winning pretty well on the economy, though. That's true. I mean, Anarchy is definitely winning the economy. It's just I'm saying they're not pushing in, and I like that they're not pushing in. They're not throwing away their economic win on bad attrition. Just looking for more economic wins. And they're going to find some, too. Steel Blue's been trying to make no turrets, though. Which has not worked out well. 
Didn't they have some tourists? Oh, I guess they, yeah, they didn't really have any tourists, did they? That actually would have gotten rid of the Scorcher early on. And now at this point, that is, that is huge. All the daggers gone. More Scorchers will be coming in. The Dart Scorcher already here. It's just going to be too much to deal with this. I don't know how Steelbook's going to be able to rebuild quickly enough to actually stop this, but they are still gradually stopping the Scorchers from doing anything. The Scorchers can only do so much because they don't have auto heal and there's no healers around. Oh, daggers take five shots to kill Scorcher now. Okay. Yep. It's quite a few. Yep. Yeah, 100 damage each, not 120 anymore. And... Oh, and because of that, Steel Blue is just unable to get unable to build up. They're expanding, they're building up metal extractors, they're rebuilding, but they're constantly forced to rebuild, and that's just destroying everything. This quill as well, kind of sitting sitting idle, not helping rebuild, which does not help. Especially with all the reclaim they could get. I feel like Steel Blue could be getting more of an economy here. That could be more even thanks to the reclaim. It's just not happening. Or not yet. Not as consistently as it could be. Yeah, well please Oh, now Anarchy coming in with half a dozen darts and three or four Scorchers. I think this last force is going to be it. Especially as Steel Blue's commander moves further out from the base defenses. I don't see any way in. Steel Blue's commander has been spotted, too. Yep. No, they've been spotted. They're getting slow to um, crawl. There's the Scorchers coming probably. in. That's the commander down. Yes. That should be game. And Steel Blue doesn't need to throw in the towel. That is game one for Anarchid after some really strong rushes. Like, very, very strong aggression early on. You mentioned before, Google Frog, the rush distance isn't that long, but clearly it's not too long for Anarchid to be able to do their job. So at this point, we're moving on to game two, which is unknown. It's entirely up to Steel Blue what they want to go for. Possibly not entirely, there's really. the list hmm? which people try to follow. Yeah, I wonder if I'm going to go for Aurelian just to try to have it be weird. It's a weird curveball. I don't know. Pick a legal map. Yeah. <laughs> We've got another <laughs> Alright, well, at this point, legal map, Aurelian seems like the most likely pick. That's been a common thing. Um, we've probably got a military first with Did you... Sorry. I'm here in your background, Google Frog. Anyway, we are going to be on Intersection. Hmm, another small map. Interesting. Given that Steel Blue didn't work out well with this short rush distance this time, I'm curious what they're planning on doing differently. We've seen before they've been playing a lot more of a defensive game, so I could see that. Like, I could see a larger map working for them, but intersection seems risky. Unless they're planning on just building up lotuses along one side of the map and then taking half the map and holding onto it. That would work. Or at least give them an option. Curious what they're planning and ultimately going for with that, but like I said, I like it. I like it. It works. Not a bad option. Let's see. Getting in. Intersection. Steel Blue versus Anarchid game two. This is good. Yeah, I'm really curious what's going to happen, though, because the thing is, we have Steel Blue, who's been a very defensive player. I mean, they didn't build many defenses that game, but they've primarily been building a lot of Lotuses around the map. And Anarchid, who's been kind of just generally playing well. Good economy, good defenses, good offense. So I feel like they're going to use the size of this map to just go for a massive rush early on. The downside, of course, being that the ramps leading into the main base make it hard to drive in. But Anakin might just go for Cloakie or something. Sounds like Steel Blue going for jump bots off the bat. So, interesting choice. Slightly unusual, but interesting. You can rush Pyrus around the side. It's hard to raid early on this map. Right, because of the way that you With have those the big long ramps. ramps. But if you can jump in the back, it's pretty good. Well, rovers are definitely Anarchid's choice, so. 
We'll be seeing a lot of that. We'll seeing how they go for raid if they try to go for raids at all. Going for 10 darts. Okay, very quickly getting those darts up. Definitely want to do something raid, either raiding wise or place darts around the map to try to take out any expansions before they happen. One of the two. On the other hand, still blue with double constable. That constable rush. Seen that earlier, it's a thing. Not a great thing, but it's a thing. It exists. It's a thing you can theoretically do. I feel like Anarchists are going to be having a hard time with these darts, though. Like, they're going to push in a little bit, and then... I don't know then... what the darts are for. I mean, it's they can do some here. damage, but I think maybe they're thinking it's, it's still... speed. And you're looking... Look here. You can see that Anarchists kind of going around where normally people would have set up defenses over in the top side of the base. Going around the back like this is pretty clever. Steel Blue is being quite greedy, though. So it could work. Like, he's got they're no being defenses. being extremely greedy. Radar goes down, the wind gen's about to go down. Steel Blue has no energy economy apart of the wind gen and their commander. And Anarchid, basically, I, the only concern really at this point is probably going to be these constables, and the constables aren't really a major threat. Not when everyone's slowed down. We're just playing slow mo here. This is the slow mo mode. Zero K. Full speed jump. Full speed jump, slow mo. I mean, that'd be weird though. If, like, the force of. I mean, granted, that sort of happens with planes that the force of gravity just affects them less when they're slowed down. But that would still be a little weird. I think Steel Blue's tried to be far too greedy. Yeah, and Anarchist realized that, took advantage. I'm actually surprised Steel Blue was this greedy, honestly. Also, fight move! Fight move! You save your darts! They don't get too close and die in the death explosion! Why does no one save the units from death explosions? It's so easy. Yeah, that metal anyway. extractor made cost. It did! That metal is a hero metal extractor. It sacrificed itself to defend the base from darts. And actually, that gives Steel Blue a bit of an opening to get back in this game because that metal extractor killed those darts. Possibly, but I don't think so. Like, he's I mean, expanding. The Narcan's okay. expanding. Steel Blue's not immediately dead. They've bought themselves a couple more minutes to hang on. They've allowed them to play power, on stream. Actually. Oh, they could, yeah, and that's the other thing, too. If they have pyros, then the darts have no chance. Although, I expect to see a change over to something else, but nope. Mass darts. That's what Anarchy wants. But, I mean, Anarchy's done their job. They like If they expand, they'll be able to just take this on money alone. I mean, Steel Blue's playing the opening build two minutes into the game. So, yeah, they're they're behind. Yeah, anyway, this this game for Anarchy right now, it's I'm not seeing anything Steel Blue's really doing to try to stop this other than defend, rebuild. I mean, there's an outside chance if Steel Blue manages to get the Pyro in here and maybe do something effective with them. That's kind of what you could really do with the Jump Bot Factory as a way of raiding around to deal damage. They don't really have the units to do that with. And considering that Anarchid's already gone, a bunch of stuff set up over, like, darts. Eight darts and Scorcher over on the north side of the map. Just set up as a contain, just so Anarchid knows exactly what's going on. It's, it's entirely a vision game at this point. They just want to know, has Steel Blue built anything? When is Steel Blue leaving their base? Yeah, Once you want to see if anything crosses good. the map. Exactly. That's really smart. Yeah, it looks like you're shifting off from that in defensors, so... The game plan looks like it's going to be using fencers to get rid of the pyros in order to be able to push in. And like slower pushes in, but that first raid was so successful that it doesn't really matter. Even with the hero metal extractor, that did slow it down. I don't know where Steel Blue's thinking they're going to go from here. I don't know what the plan is, because I don't see much. Pyro versus Dart, that's part of it, for sure. Dart actually gets shot stuff, though, so it that... yeah, isn't it the worst. The pyro. Not really sure how much that's going to accomplish, though. Especially as we see Steel Blue just microing that pyro to nail the dart without getting hit. Pretty smart. Oh. Dart actually slowing it down, doing a fair bit of damage. I mean, granted, the pyro is still making cost. Way more than cost. Still doing its job, but it opens things up a bit for the Scorcher. If only the Scorcher was there with the darts. That would have actually worked out really well. Still, though, yes. Anarchid's expanding a bunch, so it almost doesn't matter. Sorry, you were saying? 
Yeah, the Scorcher did almost well. Almost well. There's a lot of reclaim here. Really? Oh, it's 200, yeah, 200 metal reclaim. I'm kind of surprised they're going straight for the metal extractor. That's going to be wiped out in a hurry. Especially now the fencers are up. I... Yeah, this pyro is not happy. And by not happy, I mean not alive. And this is Anarchid pushing in for the kill. This is it. Four starts here to try to make sure there's nothing in the way. And then it's going to be fencers into the main base. Taking out everything. Jack's coming in to try to just brute force the fencers. But makes if sense Anarchid sense. attacks... Well, it kind of makes sense. I mean, it can tank... And he's got the, um, the constable line, remember? They do damage. Oh, that's true. But, wow. Anarchid lost the opportunity to just rush in before the jack got in there, so Steel Blue might be able to push this back. It'd be tough, but... I could think sort of more opportunities happen. will will arrive. Right, and Anarchid does still have a massive economic advantage, so they can just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And they have air units coming in, too. And it was even before Anarchid likes to go with Thunderbird. Then go for an attack, they want a Thunderbird at first. But, at the same time, there's... There's he jumped in his there. jack into his black hole, meaning that it can't actually get the other fences. Yeah, that was a bit of an odd, no odd choice of moves there. But that's, I guess that's how it goes. That's how Steel Blue chooses to die. Yeah, okay, the jack's coming in here. He's gonna be able to do some damage. But what's the option coming in? Anarchid, though. Phoenixes, lots of dark okay dark fence or phoenix that's the option set not sure i totally agree the fencers do basically get countered by the jacks assuming the jacks don't get hit by the placeholders scorchers would counter the jacks so i almost expect to see more of those but we're not not right now anyway you're just making wind conditions i think yeah i think so too phoenix against all this wind is pretty much a wind condition and then Dominatrix is coming up too, so that'll, that'll deal with the Jacks. Or deal with the placeholder. There's another win condition. I mean, Anarchid did win match one, so Steel Blue definitely wants to stay in this as long as possible, because if Steel Blue gives up at any point, they're in fourth place, and that's just how it goes. Again, though, I don't know how much they're going to be able to do with that, regardless, but I understand their attitude. Ooh, nice placeholder. Locking a bunch of the darts down. Most of the darts down, actually. But yeah, there's the wind condition. Doesn't manage to get a lot of the wind generators, but still. There should be another Phoenix coming in fairly shortly, I would think. Yep, there it is. So another Phoenix is coming in, and that is going to be it. Scott Jack coming in, trying to do its best, but not quite able to manage it. Doesn't get anything. Lotus takes it out for free. Phoenix comes in to try to help deal with stuff, and there's no anti-air to deal with the Phoenix. Acre. But even then, I don't know. This Phoenix should be ending the game if it hit the back line. Front line's all right. Back line's definitely stronger. Now with Dommies coming in here, we should be seeing Steel Blue throwing in the towel once their jacks start getting taken over. I mean, right now, Google Frog... Actually, Google Frog... Let, it, do you have any... Can you think of anything that Steel Blue could do right now? They have some reclaim. They're getting some money. They're turning into units. Um, nothing much. Okay, that's what I thought. I noticed some suggestions for Firewalkers that I can kind of see, but... Nah. Seems really risky. And that's Jack being taken over. So yeah, I don't know. This, if we're not seeing Fireworker, we're not seeing Juggernaut. So, your Jack, not a bad idea against Reaper, but, sorry, against Fencer, but not a great idea against Dominatrix. So, yeah, I think that's going to be it. There's another Jack getting taken over. Constable, are the Constable's really trying to, yeah, they're trying to do it. They're trying to get to the Dominatrix. Getting taken over instead. And that's it. Anarchy takes the tournament, or takes third place. With Dominatrix against Jumpbot, and that is going to be game. That is going to be the match. That is going to be bronze. So we're going to be having the finals, after grand grand finals, after a very short break. That'll be between Drone and Gorda. Starting again on Titan Duel, and then whoever goes from there. It is going to be best of three, and that is going to be up in a couple minutes, so stay tuned.